Hey, just imagine getting an internship certificate from one of India's top IT giants, Infosys, without even leaving your home. Well, that's true. So if you are the one who is interested to kickstart your career with one of the most prestigious in internships in the tech world, then you are at right place. I'm talking about Infosys Springboard Internship Program. So Infosys is back with their sixth edition of Infosys Springboard Virtual Internship Program. Okay. Uh, so I'll tell you how to apply for this internship. And uh, very first thing, the important point is the last date to apply for this internship is 2nd of June. They have rolled out this notification on 27th of May only and last date to apply for this internship is 2nd of June. So the time period is short because lakhs of students are interested to apply for this internship. That's why. But please, uh, how to apply for this internship? That processor is very important, that process. Because it's not that just um, fill out the form and that's it. No, you have to go over some courses and all. So please watch out this video till the last. I'll tell you step by step how to apply for this internship and why this is so important for you, right? Now, before I just want to tell you one thing, if you are interested to upskill yourself, if you want uh, uh, to learn DSA and Java and you are searching for right resources, then I'm here for you. You can go and check out on my website, my courses. So there is a Mastering DSA with Java course. We'll be covering complete Java first, then DSA from basic to advanced. And apart from this, we'll be uh, discussing lead code question, placement question, quizzes, assignments, projects, many more things, not just theory, practical as well. And one doubt resolution session every week. So uh, you can just uh, join that live, live session and there you can ask for doubt. I am here to help you. Apart from this, you get access to a dedicated WhatsApp group. So I'm just one message away from you. There also you can just, uh, ask your doubts. Plus, this is the best offer we are offering right now. You can apply the coupon code GIFT15 to get extra 15% discount. But still, I get many, generally I got many messages and comments also that, ma'am, we genuinely want to enroll in this course, but we, can, we cannot afford this amount. So if you are the one, then I'm just telling you email info at the rate jennyslectures.com. You can just mail your case at this email and we'll see what we can do for you. And if you're only interested to learn Java, then you can go for Java course as well. There is a Java course as well. Here also same, you get Java from basic. We'll cover complete Java, live session, you will get live doubt resolution session every week and dedicated WhatsApp group also. So if you are interested, the link you will get in the description box of this video, go and check out. And if you need any financial support, you can just mail me at this email address. Okay, now let me just tell you what is this internship. So basically, this is a self-paced, project-based learning program by Infosys. You will get to work on real-world projects, real-world problems designed by Microsoft, sorry, Infosys Exports. Plus, you will also get uh, access to the world-class learning content as well. And you have to work on projects as well. But now at the very first, let me just tell you who can apply for this. Anyone can apply for this. Anyone, any degree, uh, if you are pursuing like B.Tech, B.E., B.C.A., M.C.A., B.Sc., Diploma, you can apply for this. You are in first year, second year, third year, final year, you can apply for this. So basically, it's for everyone. I'll show you the eligibility criteria as well. So um, how to apply for this internship? Let me just tell you this thing first. So the link you will get in the description box of this video. Just click on that link and you will be redirected to this page. Or you can just search in Google's Infosys Springboard Virtual Internship 6.0 and you click here. Login Springboard on this link. Infosys Springboard Login. So you will be redirected to this page. Right? And then if you have an, already have an, have an account, so you can just directly log in or you have to create. So get started. So if you have an account, just enter your mail, password and login. If you don't have your account, just register from here. And you just have to fill your first date of birth and use some basic details. Then you will get an OTP and that's it. It's very simple process. I guess you can do it. I already have an account. So I will simply log in. So you can use your mail or phone as well. So just log in. So this is virtual internship 6.0. What you will get in this internship? In-depth technical knowledge. Yes, you gain, you gain hands-on experience. Whatever field you choose, whatever technology you will choose in that. You will get some free courses as well, designed by experts. You will get project, practical experience working on a project and export guidance. You will learn from industry leaders and the experts. You will get mentorship support as well. And virtual connect. Continue to attend college while engaging eight weeks virtual internship. So it's virtual internship. You don't need to go anywhere. It's online. So you can do your own work. You can attend the college as well as 
you can go for this internship it requires your 8 weeks but it's not that easy who can apply for this eligibility is applicants must have passed their 12th standard that's it or equivalent or higher examination from a recognized board or university and must be currently pursuing right now must be pursuing graduation post graduation or have completed graduation if you have just completed your graduation you are not working you can apply for that right or if you are in first year second year final year any year you can apply for this right it is that you have to be committed for this they want enthusiastic learners this internship is designed to provide project experience to students so if you are already a working professional or alumni of previous batches you should not apply for this right now have to apply see process of nomination and shortlisting the deadline is 2nd of june deadline to fill the form is 2nd of june but to complete the courses it's 30th of june i'll tell you everything don't worry so please fill you have to fill the form carefully right and course completion now this two things are there you have to first fill the form till 2nd of june and then you have to complete the courses as well what courses i'll i'll show you to be eligible for this internship you must complete the assigned courses listed against your chosen technology domain by 30th of june so see uh, there are these categories and learning path in these categories they are providing internship artificial intelligence angular full stack python java technology stack and data visualization any one you can select suppose i i just want to go for the hottest one ai so once you click on this ai you get here ai courses see these are all the courses under this ai artificial intelligence so you have to complete all these courses all these courses before 30th of june before 30th of june the deadline is 30 june maybe it may be extended but right now it's 30 june right but it's not like that if you have completed the courses then definitely you will get selected for the internship no those who who complete first so first come first serve basis is the criteria in this case so see please note that the course completion does not guarantee shortlisting or selection due to limited slots because limited seats are available so the course completion date will be a key factor in the shortlisting in turn and we follow the first come first served approach so it's not like that till 30th of 30th of june i'll complete no better to complete as soon as possible so if you, first those uh, students who complete first they will be given higher preference their chances of selection would be more right and use same infosys uh, id for internship as well as to complete your courses after selection eh, what would be the case batch allocation if you are shortlisted after completion uh, completion of the course then batch allocation would be done to various bat batches and you have to regularly che check your email id for the updates and session details and everything also check your spam and junk folder as well right and attendance will be like really important for that if you want to take leave then prior permission would be required you can just read out this thing right and you have to complete all the assigned tasks on time and don't miss the deadline after that only if you are if you are regular and if you complete your task regularly then only you are eligible to find to get the completion certificate right your attendance and adherence to the above these mentioned best practices will be considered now the main thing how to apply for this so first you have to choose a technology area i have discussed any one of this so you simply first click on this click here to apply so you will be redirected to such page see open from 27 of may only and till 2nd of june see the window there is very short window to apply for the internship start survey accept and start and you have to fill simple the simple details your name as per your registration on the synfosis springboard exact same your email id your institution name where you are pursuing your education and basic details are there right now in which category you want to wish to apply for suppose ai or angular or whatever i have chosen ai technology what you are pursuing right now you just have to choose if others then you have to if you are choosing others then you have to write now uh, specify like what you are pursuing right now other education in which year you are and these are simple basic details and then simply you can submit and whatever the response you get you will get on your email after applying for this now it's not that it's done no you have to complete your courses 
So suppose I have selected, there I have selected AI. So click on AI, you will get these courses. Click on first one, introduction to data science, right? It will show your learning process. After completion, you will get a certificate as well. This is the content of this course. Just click here, there'll be like some videos. You can just click here and you can watch whatever if there is a, you can say um, notes or videos, you can watch that. So this course is in just notes. So you can just read out these notes and after that you will get a quiz as well at the last and the assessment kind of thing. So you have to go through all these things and after that you will get the, you are eligible for the certificate. So make sure you complete all these courses under your chosen technology before 34, 30th of June. C1 is introduction to artificial intelligence. So if you click here, artificial intelligence, why AI? So here you get some videos also. So this is a video. So you just click and watch the videos. Like this, you have to complete your courses. And if you have any query, you can simply write to this email. You first fill the form till 2nd of June, as well as after that, start, complete the courses before 30th of June. Try to complete as soon as possible. Then only you will be able to like, you have chances to get shortlisted. Just by applying in this internship will not going to help you. Okay. So uh, I hope this will help you. This is a golden chance for you to stand out from the crowd. Okay. You just to showcase that you are not just a degree holder. You are a real problem solver. You have some good internship also in your resume. And please share this in your college groups or with your friends or other students so that maximum students can get benefit from this. Because students need such kind of internship to enhance their resume. So don't keep this gold mine to yourself. Share this with your friends. Okay, right? And uh, if you have any doubt, you can just let me know in the comment section. So now I'll show you in the next video. Till then, bye. Take care.